Hey, Joel, nice to meet you here. Ore, vach bei John in Spaces. Hoya kap. Well, I'm working on Bologin. Uh, Joel, uh, let me introduce first in Armenia and I will get back to you. Ayo. Uh, working on Bologin, in that channel, Jum, how to make it, Jum, as I mentioned, Joel, Joel, can you eat? What a national actor Trump is a color tagan, high standing actor. Yev, but he knows what he can hockey with a rush north. Yes, shot Ulach. Ուրախի եմ բասահետեցել, որ նա նաև կաղաքական առաջնորդ է և ներգրած է կաղաքական պրոցեսների մեջ։ Մեկ հիմա խոսատիցունը կվարեն կանգներ են և ես խոստանում եմ նաև թարգմաներ այլինի, կանի որ դեպի հայրեն, կանի որ ես գիտեմ, որ 50 տոքոս ավել It's it's very nice to see you, Joe. And when I su uh, surprisingly uh, discovered for me that, uh, except being spiritual leader and very devoted person to Armenians, and you are also involved in politics, I was so excited because always, you know what? It's cool being a good guy, okay? But it's not always enough to being a good guy if it's that good guy is not involved. With, uh, in some, you know, in crucial, uh, let's say, activities uh, to change right. your life to the good side. So, uh, how come and how long you're involved uh, in the politic life? Well, it's, you know, I'm, I'm patriotic, so I try not to call it politics, but it is. My wife and I, we've always been supporters of President Trump since he announced that he would run for president in 2015. My wife is way more political than I am. Uh, she, yeah, way more political than I am. Everyone. And uh, she she said that I should get involved in 2020 and uh, knock doors for President Trump. But actually, I was shown by the Lord in a dream that, the, that President Trump would not be sitting in the Oval Office in 2021 and that it wow. would be Biden. And uh, it seems crazy to some people, but that's what happened. Um, okay, let me translate it. Otherwise, it will be too long story. Okay. Uh, I'll give you an example. How does now now we very 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 want to? Yes, get away with the whole thing. Not the issue. I'm not going to get away with the whole activity. I'm not just going to do that. I'm not 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 going to do that. Առաջին և նան տեղեկացել են ոչ բայդըն անտրվելու ոչ թե թրամպը։ So it's very exciting. And what's on? So I started knocking doors for him, campaigning for him in 2020. And um, then I had this dream that he wouldn't be sitting in the Oval Office in 2021. And it was in the dream, the Lord was going to expose the corruption in our government. He was going to expose the corruption in Washington. And uh, this is how we would know the, the election would be stolen. It would be rigged against him. So the Lord showed me this in March of 2020, way before the election took place. And so I stopped campaigning for Trump. And yeah. then, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah. As far as it's, yeah, it doesn't have to be able to make the election 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 to be and so so then when trump re-announced that he was going to run again uh i decided to go to a rally in adele iowa where i was approached by the head of the faith coalition for trump and he recognized me and another and a gentleman recognized me from washington dc for my advocacy for the Armenians in uh, Washington, D.C. And he was very impressed with my work. And he said, have you considered giving Donald Trump an endorsement? Hey, who was and, that? What's that? Who was that that recognized you? Well, I don't know the gentleman's name, but the head of the Faith Coalition at the time was Jackson Lane. Uh, and he was assigned to Iowa. And then he was assigned to the national level afterwards. So I was approached and then asked to endorse President Trump publicly with Dr. Ben Carson and 
98 other pastors in Sioux City. So I gave Trump my endorsement, and then I decided to also help get him other big faith endorsements as well. Pastoren nikam yefud matseda eli arjatun ma Trumpa vodo shedam pa imano kni yef idem Trumpi okna kanit chana cheleni e vodpes hairi shahera ha ne kanat snoh meka vod navirvatsa eskortni yef inke ne kanasuma vodo shaki hokevod hama inke yef hason Joel okne la vod aveli mets chapo hokevod hama inke an gatpas dine Trumpi es nakhan trakan trapanye thank you end. So on top of that, I worked to get Trump some major endorsements throughout the state and the country. And so I was able to use my my influence as a minister for political good, I guess you could say. And uh, so that's how I got involved. But I got to meet with Trump several times. And each time I met with him, I discussed Armenia. In fact, he recognized me and right, he said right to my wife, directly to my wife, Sarah, um, he says you must be impressed with your husband and all the wonderful work he's doing in that little country Armenia. Oh, that was the first thing he said to my wife. Okay, and Miroskov Trumpa kajarela yev gova banela in ashatan ki yev navivatusan hamas vos joel teni tsabelma depi ayasan aiskasa Trumpi motetsuna. Imjalots asen Georgian Angledene im nuinisk yero lezun chi yete knet nicho biban Angled khosatsov nelevos kaloga et kanel dipuk chem tarkmanum asen asen Angled nuiniskim yero lezun chi cholo motadpes hingelo tegeluma. Ai besos yete nicho biban chas vastaem himnakan mitke chistem tarkmanum. Thank you. And uh, so, how about, uh, sorry, uh, is uh, Dasser also involved in the in the politic? I mean, on the side of Trump. My wife. Or, yeah. Yeah. yeah so, my, wife. my wife is part of our ministry, and she has a TikTok, so you can follow her on TikTok. It's Lady Sarah Elizabeth ninety four. She does a lot of videos. They're mostly about parenting, family life, but a lot of them are about Trump. And so my wife really helped campaign in a big way. I was a caucus captain, and then my wife counted the votes during the Iowa caucus, which is the primary. So it's the first election Trump has to win before winning the presidential election. Let me translate. So neither of us soon as hard as na nu hard so kina angel baza is kara kampai kalu as it's ayo ira zevop TikTokum Sara Lady Sara. How was the TikTok account, Lady Sara? Lady Sarah Elizabeth ninety four. Lady Sarah Elizabeth ninety four. So do kalori ktnel TikTokum hetevel as we start with Akishkish Bader Kiknek. So Joel, today is one hundred fourth anniversary of Woodrow Wilson arbitrary, and I saw your photo next to grave of Woodrow Wilson, and yeah, you you are just one of just few, very few uh, people of American people, not Armenian people, that remember the Woodrow, uh, Woodrow Wilson arbitrary and, you know, so much devoted. Can I ask you a very intimate question? Yeah. Why? Why? You are not, a, you are not Armenian. And even, even though many Armenians, they're not absolutely about here, what's happened, what's happening now, and you are not being Armenian, so devoted on these things. So uh, you are in in Armenian life, and why? It's a very good question, brother. Um, well, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, uh, it's um, it's a very good question, and I'll just say this: there are very few Christian countries left in the <laughs> world. Armenia has a Christian heritage like no other country in the world. When the Lord first spoke to me about Armenia. It was the morning of September 27th, 2020. It was the, the day the war actually broke out between Azerbaijan and Armenia, the Nagorno-Karabakh War, the 44-day war. And the Lord asked my wife and I to sell what we had and to give our savings away to the widows and fatherless in Armenia. We didn't know where Armenia was. We had never heard of Armenians. Uh, we were from a small state in the Midwest called Iowa, in the middle of nowhere. Um, geography was not my subject growing up. I was homeschooled and I was just taught reading, writing, and arithmetic if I was taught that at all. So 
I'm not. Yeah, go ahead. Oh my god. Nunes Garicha there is something else who's no kids. You see, I'm I'm so excited that even the uh, the pen falls down from my head, and and finish uh, first. Like this hard set, he uh he has to high chi, shot high end and uh antal bed high sound of catal valsi. I will have a little. I will show how to sound like na catal dar stadelitz na ten. But the Wilson ni idawa the victory. In two as two as can net gravas haika can continue the match. Ia patas kana sens huzet in zoi ke aset yes tarpe sa yasa internet chigite mi chef xaniot exat vakani septembri xaniot ha patazun abro me poker na hango maiova ha yev ashala gritun zet kana lafchiere yev asvats is yelazin yekela yev seladu pe ka okta kabin ases gorzin yev inke verchi ila Pohre da bolam in kundej na videla et kurtin oknelo vazmatif hashman damleri a vorpedi mikhoskov haika gan kurtin e vasma haistan en kishat kich kristonia yerko neitsa bolmana sela yerko yevda bolam pudin oknela petk. Thank you, Joel. And well, at the time it was extremely embarrassing for me, Vardan, because when I went to my pastor, who was over me, and to my father-in-law, my wife's. Father, uh, I said what the Lord had told me to do, which was to go into full-time ministry. I was working as a part-time minister on the weekends, where I would speak at different churches. But I worked construction. That was that was what I did for a living. That was my career. So when I was laying aside this amazing career, where I had just become a foreman of a construction remodeling company, and I laid it all aside to do full-time ministry, to preach the gospel, to help the Armenian widows and fatherless, and I would be going overseas to do so, my father-in-law was not the happiest about the situation. And they thought I was crazy. Everyone thought I was lunatic, you know, hearing voices or something. Um, Let me interrupt and, you. I'll translate. Yeah. Otherwise, it was too long. Եվ նա նսել է դրամասին և ասված է դրացել է երազի մեջ, ասել է պետք ոգնես, ինք է գնացել է իր կնոչ հոր մոտ և տեղեկացել է բոլոշման մասին, պասում են կարոշտական, որքև որ կարոշտական գործունոյությունը իր Հայաստանի մասին կալուզին, այդ եվ հոգև որ առումով եվ ընդալապես ինչ ակատարվում Հայաստանում եվ ասում է, որ իր կնոչ հայր է այդքան ուրախ չեր դրամար, որով էտեր պասոն ինքը զրկում էր իր ապրուստի հիմնական միջոցի� Uh, the oldest are twins. They're twin boys. They're six years old. And then our youngest is one. Oh, my God. Sounds good. And what's then? What's then? What's happened? Well, so we had to live with our father. Well, my wife's father. I had to live with my wife's father, move our family into his home for five months. So what the Sur Pohi, the Holy Spirit, was doing was he made us to become poor so that we could help Armenian people. We didn't have a lot of money, but whatever we had, we gave away. And then the Lord had me take a team of eight people to Armenia. Uh, we led our first team, missionary team uh, in Armenia to help the widows and the fatherless immediately after the aftermath of the 44 day war. And uh, we sponsored many, many widows during that time. And we also helped to raise awareness in the United States among even evangelical Christians, such as myself, uh, most people uh, don't know about Armenia. And that's the reality because there isn't enough advocacy from non-Armenians. The problem, and I'll say this so you can translate, but the problem that I see is that you have a lot of Armenian voices, but you don't have a lot of non-Armenian voices voicing Armenian issues. And what happens when that takes place is Armenians, they create kind of an echo chamber where they are speaking but their yeah, voice yeah. is just returning to other Armenians. Yeah, absolutely. Like uh, we are speaking only for ourselves. This is right. Like, it's like a is a close circle. I'm speaking with you, speaking with me, and no one uh, speak uh, with us, and no one hear us. 
Right. Like between Armenian services going on. So uh, let me translate. If I speak in Kasuma, I am both Gumar and Navidvets, Karas and Chosoya Patelas Miseto, I stand on Akachas Kantinerin. If Havakes Hum, if Kalwasa got higher stun, Okov, if Potsel, Inchomiban, Anel Terum, Yamena Karevola, Esma Simpatman, America, small highly continued Nanumakaya, no, was highly stus, highly continued machine. Hosatsoch, Chica, Hosan, make me matching, make me matching, park, park, what? Yevda, Yevda, Ida Kamisunari. Yes, that's exactly it's just reality, pain, reality. No one, no one cares. I think it's just because of our I not too much activity. I don't know. I, I, I cannot blame anyone except us being in this situation. Well, I I, we need to struggle for that. We need to do something for that, right? Right. I mean, if we look throughout Armenia's history, there are many people that always came to their aid that really did a lot to help furtherance the kingdom. Even St. Gregor Lusavrich, this man, he wasn't Armenian. He came from Cappadocia, worked under King Teradatis, right? And mm -hmm. then he was thrown in prison for 13 years. But he helped bring the entire nation to Christianity and I, I am hoping that God will use me in some significant way for the first Christian nation because it breaks my heart to see where it's at. And I believe that Armenians have been doing their best. I really do. I believe the diaspora has been doing their best, but it hasn't been enough. They have been doing their best to raise their own voice, but for some reason people aren't listening. I don't know what that reason is, but we need to shift that. So just click quickly, if I can do anything to help the new administration to be a voice to the new administration about this ancient and magnificent people, uh, I believe we all come from the Armenians because I really do believe the Bible. I believe Noah's Ark Mount, uh, rested on Mount Ararat and that we are all descendants of Hayek. I believe this. And so <laughs> go ahead. Played. Okay. So uh, uh, I'll get it. Okay. He sheds voice. Grigorius Avolichits, Inkel High Chair, but they get Christian Luton Talatego Astanum, Inkel Paso and High Chief, Inkel at Patakan Luton Versel, Hyrin Oknel Hamad, Yavavinakarov, as such an as Kahaka Mets Pure, but I know I mean I need to be ban and chick out of room, Talatego I can problem that I'm just going on room, Lassidas Nelamar, Yehima, make Kosenk and Massin, yet the Incha Pet de Hamad on it. So, uh, Joel, uh, I believe, really, I believe your new position, okay, will be good. Will be good for, you know, it's not about Armenian problems. I will tell you my opinion. If there is no justice, if there is no justice, well, the, uh, just lack of justice will impact like uh, small countries like Armenia, because as a, re a result, is his historical result when uh, in the Glob was wars like uh, First World War, uh, suffer Armenia, Armenians. Uh, it was happened uh, genocide. I mean, if there is lack of justice, this is my main concern. Then uh, will suffer. Maybe even not Armenia, but somewhere in the world, someone will suffer because of lack of justice. So new administration will take care of that or not because this is not only my problem yes armenian problem is my problem but when i i will just look at the map and just go up it's next to me here <laughs> okay Be because this is my world and i have to live here uh, regardless i'm armenian or not so not armenian only problems is my, are my problems i'm seeking just the justice you know and help people to reach the state mm -hmm. What do you think is uh, the new administration of Trump will care about? Or if you are rich, go ahead. If you are powerful, go ahead. You can just you know, can do whatever you want. Like before, as before, uh, as was before. What do you think? Yeah, those are great questions. And so I will answer them to the best of my ability. Let me say first and foremost, the reason why I got involved in this political landscape the way I have, because I didn't stop at giving Donald Trump my endorsement. I spent twenty five to thirty thousand dollars of my own money to campaign for him around the United States. 
I wasn't a paid employee of Trump. I wasn't paid by any institution or organization. I volunteered my own time and my own resources to campaign, to knock doors, to speak with people, to endorse him. And I want to say, first and foremost, that this was all happening on the cusp of the blockade at Berzor. And I hoped to gain some political influence for the sake of Armenia, for the sake of the Christians living in Artsakh, and their, for the sake of the Republic of Artsakh and its right to self-determination. Um, our representatives failed to do anything substantial, thus the ethnic cleansing of Artsakh. And I was there on the ground in Artsakh during the ethnic cleansing. I was there ministering to the families, helping them get food and shelter and clothing. I did everything that I could do with our government. And I realized that if Donald Trump does not get elected and we have four more years of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, the same thing that just happened with Artsakh is going to happen to Armenia. Aliyev is going to amp up the aggression backed by Erdogan and Armenia will go away. And then if Armenia went away, the United States, Russia, nobody else, France, we wouldn't have to worry about Armenia ever again. Because there would be no such question as the Armenian question. Finally, we will solve the Armenian question. <laughs> this is what was a aiming by the Russian and Turkish side. Uh, let me translate. I'm happy to be a man who has been a man who has been a man who has Sa im kasikna, yev harses nanume, te artiok, sa karebot hangamanka, bahel, artalutsuna, shari mech, in classes, was etakin arsa, in canovos, sa karebola, yev ida nevera batsunes, ashatan cum, as a company mech, and stella amalere, was in kachiva jarre, which me, bani amal, yev inkna, vajare, this ida ashatan ki amal, yev asma yete. Ankars Chandra Trump, if Manai Kamala Harris, Askin Inketo Democrat Neda, any short Katarvets are Sahi head at Nika Kansatumek, Linej Naev, Hyastani head, Yef, Hyef or Hyastan at Chedini, Hasna Chedini, Hagakan, the Sensa in Hagakan Hasna. Um, Joel, uh, and the fact that you're involved in the politics by the on side of Trump was the first knew I was happy uh, after Trump ele Trump's election. So, and I know just one person, you know, it's not enough to solve the big problems because Armenia is a small country, but the problem is big. We understand every, everyone, like, like Turkey, Russia, Iran involved in this process, not yeah. only Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan yeah. is just a tool. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is not a simple problem to no. solve. <laughs> Absolutely, right? And do nobody you want if I may interrupt you, nobody in Washington wants to solve this problem. And when they see it that I want to be active involved in this issue, they are telling me you don't want to get involved. It is it is such a if mess. <laughs> no, it's not a mess. It it it's a mess if you don't want to solve the problem. Because if you want, there are tools. We have Woodrow Wilson arbitrary. Yeah. Okay, uh, let me translate this part. And yes, I said, I was doing a huge babacan chest as mess problem and Lucelu Hamar. Because it's Ayo Shat mess problem. Washington must mean do me porci nuniscus problem and Lucel. I said, I'm hard. Yes, the bar problem I don't know yet. Chenu zumo kan gorceli yas problem gorcik nede yem lotseles problem. Is kamen ames gorcik evo men kunang da potro vilsoni ila vada vechirme. So Joel, yeah, you are already encountered with the obstacles and like you know the mentality that the solution there is no solution for Armenia. Yeah. Part of yeah for part of politicians. Well, well, there is a solution. There is a good solution, but we're we're running into a couple obstacles. So the U.S. State Department wants to maintain peace in the region. And that's what the whole CSTO men's group was about. We can go into all of those other things, right? But the yes. problem <laughs> is, the problem is, if I may interrupt, the problem is 
the Armenian issue is like a gaping wound in the flesh that is now infected. If you don't flush it out, it's going to get sick and the person's going to get sick and die, right? So something needs to be done. We know what to do. The United States knows what to do. And it's to keep the promise that was made by Woodrow Wilson. But the problem with that is it's so complicated. In order for that to take place, you're threatening war with Turkey because Turkey is just as adamant as they were during Woodrow Wilson's time that that is not going to happen because they believe those lands to be essential to the vitality of Turkey. So there's just so many conflicts there. But I believe that with the right people and with the right diplomacy, we could we could really make a better Armenia, an Armenia that's safe and secure. We could keep our promises. We could hold up to justice and righteousness. But I think Woodrow Wilson was motivated by the spirit of Christ. And if you look, he said the last words, his last published words, he said the sum of the whole matter is this. America cannot be maintained or sustained materially unless it is done so spiritually Absolutely. and it has to be revived by the spirit of christ and that's what he says by the spirit of christ and so this is the same thing for armenia armenia needs to be revived by the spirit of christ because they're losing their national identity it's rapidly falling away they don't remember who they were and they're actively being told not to remember who they were and that's another issue you the better don't even think about who you are. Just forget about who you are, and you will uh, uh, you will live safer. Right. Like assets, uh, 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 and by itself, I know I'm by man hockey ball talas <laughs> kuma yete dunas hockey ball talas kum but bas thogunesh et harsa komat chibi tsvedu yete make sense as me yer kar thogun kaya stan chibi ni hagiran identifikatsian ikna chana chovutsuna amas kamas kabelana vote me giten go hai din asmen abelava morase kovek duk morase ekzer patutsuna yev avenish lavkelni Joel just Good advice for people they think they can just ignore the problem in Armenia and they can live safe. So my statement is if there is no 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 justice, no security, no peace. There cannot be peace without the justice. So anything was forced, it's just temporary solution. If uh, the, the problem is so not solved, as you're telling, like it's it will just erupt from somewhere. We need solution. And to me, is the best solution for any country is to, to go to international court, right? And have some statement and find a solution because we are living in the, in the world, the small world. We, we have NATO, we have uh, UN, we have Court of Justice uh, of the UN. So the big problems, can be solved can be solved there if we trust each other okay if you have some kind of understanding that we cannot ignore the laws and the rules if there's international rules it must be for everyone no one no one's, no one's above yeah oh, oh, yeah no one above so no one's that, above the law absolutely that that's why america so great because everyone understand they maybe want to be more but you know, no, they will lose more. They will lose more. Right. Okay, just follow the law. So how we can just deliver this idea to people? They thinking you can ignore the problem and and force a peace without solving the problem. Well, I think the United States is kind of funny because yes, we follow the laws, but we look at terrorists like Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi or Soleimani, or 
Osama bin Laden or Saddam Hussein. And, you know, our government is willing to take out terrorists. Well, I believe Aliyev is a terrorist. I, be I believe Aliyev should be numbered among them. And I think Erdogan should be as well. Sure. And you see the ICC recently said, like, put out an arrest warrant for Benjamin Netanyahu. And in the Netherlands, if he's to land there, he's to be arrested. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, we need to do the same thing with Aliyev. We need to put out an arrest warrant for Aliyev and an arrest warrant for Erdogan. Absolutely. And if they land in America or try to visit Trump at the White House, they get arrested. This good point. So exactly you just, you know, like you quote the war that I had already previously said in my podcast. Those people, if it, it can be like uh, if Netanyahu accountable against the law, how, how can we uh, leave a void of that? It's not possible. So we have already Putin, we have Netanyahu, the next going to be Aliyev and Erdogan. And, and it's go, it's go. I have more candidates for that, so <laughs> I don't want to tell the whole the list. But yeah. So what do you think? Today, I see a way and possibility to, see, uh, to solve it because I, I see the intention. So are you optimistic like me or not? I am. I am. So I, I think I think there is a way to solve this, but I think Armenians can't seem to come together on anything. And out of every minority I've ever met, my brother, the Armenians are more hostile and more in disagreement than any other minority I've ever met. They don't have one mind, one power, one will, one policy. And if we could get them all behind one vision, then we will succeed. But when they're all so splintered and divided, divided, the house crumbles to the ground. United we stand, divided we fall. That's our motto as Americans. Sorry, I, I, for, I was so excited on your words, I forgot to translate. In Scandinavian, I Nathaniel <laughs> Joe, <laughs> I stuck, I forgot, after uh, being optimistic, optimistic in, in this way. Ayo, Hishetsi, sorry. Ayo, Hishetsi, I said, Hi, hi, Kalan Hasnet Hajurutian, Yete, it can unjat was, Yef, Padel Karsik, Nature, Miasin, the main Nuin Napatakin. I was the best in Hosum, Karsik, Nen, Talberak, Banel Motesun, Shata, Yef, Napatak Nen, Shat, Chemtenum. So the question, I for, I remember what you tell. And Joel, do you think possibility and at least two subjects can lead the nation, Armenian nation, towards it? So we can define our goal. Yeah. Do you see the subjects? Because you are, so I'm in, you know, I'm involved in the Armenian process. I mean, I, I cannot always be on the side. So I need your side and your vision. So do you see something can, you know, put us together towards the goal? There's one thing that can unite Armenia to the United States. And there's one thing only, and that's Jesus. And when Armenians remember their first love, like in the days of Gregor Lusavrich, then they will be united in their true identity. But now they have gay bars and strip clubs and casinos and every form of immorality happening 
in Armenia, this is not a Christian nation anymore. You can say you are the first Christian nation, but you are not a Christian nation today. And the fact that those things are allowed and that immorality is tolerated is unbelievable. I'm not suggesting that we should be like Iran, you know, with some religious ayatollah running everything. I'm not ex I'm not suggesting that the Catholicos should be the next ayatollah of Armenia, but I'm suggesting that the people return in their hearts to Jesus Christ. And I want to say that I believe Armenians should be going to the Armenian Apostolic Church. I believe this 100%. And we don't see that happening. So many of them do not attend the Badarak. And then finally, what I will say is that the Apostolic Church needs to work with evangelical Christians. Not turn them aside. No, they're not going to be united because the doctrine of the Armenian Apostolic Church is much older than the doctrine of, let's say, the Protestant Christians living in Armenia. But they should work together because at least the Protestant Christians are preaching Christ in the most hostile of areas. When I am in Armenia, I am baptizing Indians. I am baptizing Persians. But where are my Derhai friends who should be doing the same with me? The fact is the Armenian Apostolic Church used to be the most evangelistic in the world. They trained up missionaries and seminarians, Derhais, Vartapets, used to go into the world to preach the gospel, to proclaim the gospel. But this has stopped in a big way, and it's become a very ethnocentric church. So I want to support the Armenian Apostolic Church and their greater evangelization to not just to the Armenian citizens, but to all who come across Armenian borders. Okay, let me translate. Yes, I said, 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 Ah, <laughs> I think I translated the, the, the basic meanings of uh, your sentences. Joel, Armenia is old nation, really, and uh, losing his power and the, the government long time. I see the lack of understanding what's the government is, and what, what's the use of the government, okay? What's the sense having the government? And, and this is something crucial. For me, I think uh, I see the many reasons we cannot succeed. This lack of understanding why why, why the government is for. Is they, are they for to just gain the money for corruption, to living good, use the power, or they kind of employee? You know, you hire them to be governor and they're your employees, right? Exactly. So, this is understanding. I I seem we're missing. But Armenians who live in the U.S. they they shifted already, right? Then they they see what's going on, and you yeah you have, yeah. So well, do you think there are tools that we can use in Armenia to just you know just refresh, maybe update the understanding, the the meaning of the voting? We are not voting. Armenian people not they vote. They don't voting for someone. They just go. They do something and do not taking the responsibility of the world. They don't realize that the world defining the future, at least for five, ten, or maybe I don't know, twenty years. Yeah. They still now people in majority of people they don't realize the voting is defining the future. So there is no connection of understanding why is this for. Yeah. I don't know. I, can I, can I be frank with you? Awesome. You must be. Okay. 
So the things I'm about to say are going to put me in hot water, I guess you could say. But um, I'm always there. Don't worry about it. You're uh, with me. <laughs> well, I, I believe that the State Department, Armenia's State Department, is very foolish in many ways. I believe mm -hmm. a lot of their politicians are very foolish. I believe there's excellent and brilliant people in Armenia. But here's the problem. There's a lot of the excellent and brilliant people. They're so pacifistic. Even they have the most amazing minds, brilliant, amazing strategists, but they won't do anything. They won't even get involved. They won't touch it. And there's a lot of people in America like that as well. You know, America is filled with them. For example, I'll just say briefly, when I was campaigning for Trump, I had a lot of people saying, I'm pro-Trump. I'm pro-Trump. Even some people were flying a Trump flag outside of their house. But they said oh, I don't need to go out and vote. And they said, because Trump's going to win this thing by a landslide. And I said, not if you don't go out and vote. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, are you crazy? Um, but I think one of my greatest concerns with Armenia presently is that Armenia is committing its own genocide and its own ethnic cleansing. They are. They're doing it to themselves. 20% of pregnancies and an abortion in Armenia. That's the yeah. highest per capita per nation from the data analytics that I've looked at. Uh, there is no nation in the world that aborts more pregnancies than Armenia per capita. And you got to take into uh, account these, these Indians that are coming into Armenia, and a lot of them are an integral part of Indi uh, Armenia's economy now. And people tell me that Armenia did not benefit from the ethnic cleansing of Artsakh, but I wonder if that can be completely true. And my hypothesis is, is that we know that Armenia is greatly underpopulated and we know that they need a greater workforce and that they do have jobs. Armenia does have jobs. If you've been told that Armenia doesn't have jobs, people are lying to you, you know? And I'll tell you what, um, if somebody tells you Armenia doesn't have jobs for its population, then what I will tell you is I have a goose that lays golden eggs. Give me $10,000 and I'll sell you the goose. <laughs> that means you could be fooled. You can yeah. translate. Uh, yeah, sure. Imhar san anumel bolj menk azgov chenk azkacel mi tesak mi chev hima in chanashnakum karamadutsun. Եվ ինչ անշանակում ընտրություն է, սա կարող են պատճառնենա, որ մենք չենք ունեցել սեփական կարևորություն եւ անկախություն, հա, երկար ժամանակին, ինքը ոնց հատեսում ես հարսի լուծումը։ Ինքս ասեց ուզում ես, ես այնքես պատասխանեմ, ասի դու պարտավոր ես այնքես պատասխանել, ես ասեց, ասեց, այ ինչ դուք ունեք այդ ձեր կարևորությունը, կոպի մարով նշան, ասեց դա հիմարություն է, ինչ դուք ունեք, հա, հա, դուք այ ինչ որ կա Հայաստանում, դուք հիմա ձեր Ձեր ինքնեն ձեր նկատում ցերաստանություն եք իրականացնում առանց արտակին միջամտությունների եւ որպես օրինակ բերեց օրինակ աբորտների թիվը ասած կա հրիցունը 20%-ը ընդհատվում է եւ աշխարհում ամենաշատ ծոկոսն է հայաստանում որպես բանը ընդհատում հրիցան պլյուս ասած հիմա դուք ներգարթի հոսկել ունեք բանի հանդիկների գալիս են եւ բաղեցնում են բազմաթիվ աշխատատեղեր եւ դեմոգրաֆիայի խնդիրներ են լինելու դա հետ կապված նայել, չկամ է ես հասկացա դա իրուզում ասեր, եվ ասեց ուտենց բան չկա, որ ինձ շատ ժամնակ ասում էլ Հայաստանում աշխատանք չկա, դա էլ ասուտ Հայաստանում աշխատանք կա, եվ ես չեմ տեսեմ եկին, որ ինք Հայաստ you know, if the, the, the reality is, Vardanjan, uh, if if Armenia didn't have jobs, why are they busing in or flying in tens of thousands of Indians? I told already. I told that. Yeah. that the, I I assume. So it's mean, a lie. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sure. uh, I assume you mean uh, you meant that. So uh, yeah, exactly. It's different question. Is that enough to live for living? Maybe not, but at least it's something. But this is not the point. Right. You know what, Joel? I uh, travel all over the world. You see the club? I don't know how. There is maybe a couple, just few places I have never been. So I've been in the places, I believe you also, that they have no any resources, but they live good. 
So what's the point? How it come? It's very, very simple. If there is a poor people, there's corruption. Absol this is like, you know, this it's absolutely true. If there is a poor people, there is corruption. This this is what's happening with Armenia, with Russia, with Belarus, with, with Kazakhstan, with like uh, former uh, Soviet Union countries. We, you know, I, I'll, I'll be <laughs> honest with you, Gordon John. Sure. Gordon John, I've, yeah. I've been I've been in Spitak region in mm -hmm. Armenia, and it's the most atrocious place that I've ever been to in my life. I've been all over the Middle East. I've been to Africa. And Kenya, Africa has nicer dwelling places than Spitak. The way the people live there is unbelievable. I recently helped to build a school there for kids. Really? Yeah. Thank you, it is, it, it is unbelievable the way the people are living there. And there's it, it's filled with people with so many mental disabilities and physical disabilities, and the government does nothing. Let me translate. Let me translate. Sorry. Uh, yes, yes, I said, 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 I I uh, I was just continuing your sentence, like, uh, whatever you saw, I'm telling whoever's whoever in Armenia is loyal to the, this government or supporting, he's like taking responsibility uh, and he's part of, he, he's a guilty for these people. Like you saw, so disabled people, these like, poor people. Well, Armenia is in a terrible situation. I mean, okay, they're, they're dealing with the corruption. The, the Velvet Revolution was to deal with the corruption from the old time, from the old administration. But there's corruption now, just as much as there was then. And, more. and 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 maybe more. maybe more. There could be an argument for that. But the problem is, uh, throwing yourselves back into the mercy of Russia is not the best idea for Armenia. We know that because Russians are just as bad as Turks. They're white Turks. And I'll tell you what, you know, throwing yourself to the World Economic Forum, the globalist elites, the George Soros's of the world, will strip you of all of your identity. I mean. I'm really emotionally upset because going to places like Speed Talk, that is a failure for democracy. That is a failure for any government. And Armenia should be ashamed of the city of Speed Talk and the Speed Talk region. They should be ashamed of how they're treating their citizens. They're not doing anything for them there. I, I went there and you had retarded people, mentally handicapped people, pushing other mentally handicapped people in wheelchairs. And what happened after this earthquake? The, the the earthquake in Speed Talk, that whole region, but Speed Talk has a bunch of children with a lot of mental illnesses. Why? Is it something in the water? Are there no. nuclear chemicals in the soil? Why is this happening? I haven't seen this anywhere else in the world. I haven't seen more disabled and more handicapped and me more mentally uh, affected individuals in such a small region than anywhere else in the world. Why isn't their government doing something? They don't even have enough assistance. These these handicapped people, Vardan John, when's the last time you've been to Speed Talk? When's the last time? Go. It's terrible. Uh -huh. No, it's it's a, it's a crisis of of preposterous proportions. And you have mentally handicapped people that are taking care of other mentally handicapped people. Yes, it's it's, it's horrible. Uh, let me translate. So, now uh, now and 
We had the corruption before the, the revolution, okay? But no any recourse we had that there is a system corruption. After we were uh, uh, revolution, we had records, okay? That in Armenia, there is a system corruption, not even corruption, it's entire system in corruption, okay? And after that, we have statement from the US ambassador our, that Armenia is a you know it's a civil country. There is a freedom. There's a democracy. Excuse for my French is uh, she told completely BS, and for people and you know I was on the side always that U.S. America will tell always true. America will tell always true. And in fact, a day U.S. ambassador telling. False, telling completely not true, supporting this corrupted government. So, what do you think? Will uh, Trump administration take into consideration that this cannot happen? Because you have institutions that have this recourse about Armenia, about Armenian corruption, about the freedom, about everything. And you have those records and opposite telling your ambassador in Armenia. Let me translate the question, and after you, uh, you will answer. Yes, I said, see, was I was hyperactive to know when you can't get a son, Mister La Corruption, but it's not a tobacco and it's a door. They could send them to the woman was a higher son, Hamagal Kaina Corruption, not a mentor, Hamagal Kain Corte, Matuya, one, what Nahalu, you have S. Banin, Pony Vera, America, Desmana, the higher son, Kochuma, Democratacan, George Tavalagan, Yelkin, and Palagai before the American Institute, Hakarakin Asun. Si administrația în Trumpi, luța lui este hartă, vom să ne laborăm. Paragam, e fost ies miști, văsta e mereu, văs, american, e efect sub ce hosum american, văs, ajec nei pașman ornă. Welcome. Well, let me first say this. If you look at Marco Rubio, he's yeah. pro-Armenian. Yes. He's pro-Armenian. You look at uh, Marco Rubio is friends with Sam Brownback, who is also very pro-Armenian. Uh, you have a lot of individuals that are very pro-Armenian in the Trump administration. And I am pro-Armenian, very much so. I spent the last four years of my life serving this people. I know more... So, Ar Mark Rubio is always, he is like a secretary? Yeah, yeah, he is, a, he is going to be just an, a fantastic person for the okay, so, uh, betterment of the relations as well. Okay. And and so everybody that is being appointed to the cabinets are pro-Armenian. And some people say, well, what about Dr. Oz? Dr. Oz isn't being appointed to the cabinet. Dr. Oz is being put in charge with RFK Jr., who is pro-Armenian, by the way, of Medicare stuff. <laughs> it has nothing to do with foreign policy, diplomacy, nothing. But when it comes to the government in Armenia, to answer your question... I won't speak against the current government in Armenia, and I'll tell you why. Because it's the only government Armenia has. Instead, what I will do is I will pray for Nikol Pashinyan. I will pray for the leaders of the parliamentary government. I will pray for all the members of Armenia's government and intercede. Because the problem is, brother, if we don't have godly wisdom which wisdom is to know God's will. If you don't have godly wisdom, if you're not led by the power of the Sur Pohi, you're going to lead your country into destruction every single time. If Christ does not reign in your heart, why do we have corrupt individuals? Why? Because Jesus Christ is not Lord over their life. Jesus Christ is not Lord over their heart. And so what we have to begin to pray, and don't think this is stupid. See, Everybody in America, we understand the power of prayer. We are a strong Christian nation. It is the power of prayer that saved President Donald Trump's life from nearly being assassinated 
on July 13th at Butler, Pennsylvania. That was a divine miracle. The moment that happened, I said, we just got our endorsement from heaven for Donald J. Trump. God gave his endorsement for Trump to be president. So we need to pray because I believe that it is God's will for Armenia to exist. I also believe that that promise by Woodrow Wilson was not made in vain. And I believe that we did not act appropriately after World War I, after the Treaty of Severus, to fulfill that promise. But in order for these things to be done, it has to be done through prayer. So I'm not going to criticize the Armenian government. I'm going to pray for them. I'm going to pray for them. I'm going to remind them that Armenia is a Christian nation. To not bend over backwards and bow the knee to globalist elites or to Russia or to Turkey, but to Jesus Christ. And he will make your path straight. Es mir so was leid. Im Herz sind, wir uns als Herz sind, auch nicht nur, dass es jetzt mein Udischmacht, Udischband schon nicht kann, hat ja kein կարավարությունա <gülüyor> Ha, Malkorubian nüpes ana. Ha, şat hayameta yev en Türk bana vurkan der miat bamlen çey dan kater lobist unen asmana kahakan kahakutsan mes çi nerdela vaslinelo ay bana Robert Kennedy mot ve teragala aşhatelu. Ha, bayt asets amen depkum petka nu havatalin manal Kristonya arjeknerin yev ayt zevop portsel pochel երկիրը ոչ թե գլոբալիստների հետ կամ ռուսաստանի թուրքիայի հետ մտածելով որ լինել այդ կոալիցիայի մեջ այդպեսով հկելու են հայաստանը Thank you Joe for your uh, honest honest conversation Honestly I, I believe uh, you guys you're going to start new conversation with the world Because whatever we had before is was very predictable in not a good way. So it was predictable, not good. So with double standards, you can, you cannot for the same thing. Yeah. Okay. You, And I, the I'll be the first to say Donald Trump didn't do everything well when he was president. There is a lot of mistakes that President Trump made, especially when it comes to Armenia. I'm going to say this, he, and it could get me into trouble, not necessarily with Trump, but with other friends of mine. But I'm going to say this quite clearly. I think the Trump administration could have taken a lot more decisive action against Azerbaijan. Uh, I think the what happened with Section 907 was horrific. I believe that when the United States started selling um, – weapons to Azerbaijan, allowing weapons sales and monetary aid to Azerbaijan uh, during Trump's administration, that was disgusting. That was absolutely disgusting because the United States helped finance the war and Israel helped finance the war. And those things need to be brought to the table. After Section 907, we weren't in 1992, you know, Freedom Support Act 1992, we weren't supposed to finance Azerbaijan at all. We weren't supposed to give them uh, military aid at all. Why did we do that? That's the question that I'm asking our representatives. And that's the question I'll be asking this current Trump administration. So we have uh, an opportunity in a window to redeem ourselves. Um, we have an opportunity in a window to make things right. The thing is, No man is righteous, no, not one. The scripture is clear about that. No man is righteous, no, not one. We have all fallen short of the glory of God, and we all need to come to repentance and believe on Jesus Christ and follow him because we are in a World War III right now. This is World War III. I'm not talking about Russia versus Ukraine or Israel versus Palestine. 
The third world war, which we are fighting now, is a war of ideology and political propaganda. The LGBTQ nonsense and everything else. This is war I, of fuckers. Yes, it's a it's a it's a war of ideology, and it's Satanism versus Christianity. And right now we are turning the page, and America is going to realign with its Christian identity, and European countries are going to revolt against the globalism. The globalist elites are coming down, the Christian nations are rising up, and the question that I pose to Armenia is is which side are you going to fight on are you going to be on the side of the globalist or are you going to be on the side of the usa because trump was very clear in his un speech in his world economic forum speech in davos switzerland he yeah, said we will never be a socialist country we will never be a globalist country it's yeah. not going to happen uh, you can translate that sure uh, thank you very much and Ah, yes, Talikmanen vor ասեց, Հայաստանը պետք անդրություն կատարի, այս վերջից սկսեմ, հա, ոս տեղայինքը, ժողորդավարական երկրների հետ, հա, թե գլոբալիսների հետ, այս խիմինքը պետք անդրություն կատարի, ինքը ոս կողմումա գտնվել Ha en inaryot bana hishume ka bana zeravori bana ivera himam vara amerikan oktutsuner dalis Azerbejanin da khaytaragutsuner yev da antulatreli anhaskanali bana yev Trumpa i ambogh administratsiyov paskhereluya ajekneri verakanuman hamar asken globalistakan ajeknere et ha es serakan pokramasutsuneri reklamnu et bana urchatsum et hangamankneri petka datalesven nuyna Evropayem nuyna Amerikayem yasarnanger yev Hayastan հստակ պետք է սեղ ընտրություն կատարի ինքը ոչ տեղա ինքը ինչ է ազում ա որովհետև տեսնում ենք չէ որ դենան քո տեսնում են որ նիկոլ փաշինյանը մակրոնի մոտից վազում գալիս է վազում է գնում բրիկս պուտինի ոտի տակը որ տակ է թավալվելու ես հարցերը կոնկրետ իրան են վերաբերվում եւ ասում է մեր ադմինիստրացիան վերականգնելու է բոլոր արժեքները որովհետև հիմա պատերազմը արժեքների մեջ է արժեքների պատերազմը հիմա հա կոնկրետ ջեր ai want to say uh, you know just i, I want to appreciate whatever was done in uh, during the biden administration however we remember and we appreciate the ambassadors uh, you know efforts to keep the sunik safe at least okay at least we didn't lose the sunik because it was yeah. really really dangerous Uh, it was really dangerous period our government didn't want to fight i our government was ready to give up everything still is gi- uh, ready to give up everything if, yeah. if he could he would give up even armenia you know <laughs> my think- my message my message to the armenians living in the diaspora here in the united states was simple armenians you are used to to losing your land you're used to it finally you have a leader president trump who's going to build a wall <laughs> he's going to protect our borders you finally have a leader the answer is clear vote for trump let me translate yes asetsi amen depkum uzum shvakalutsun aitnen but administratsiyan vor amen depkum menk payetsin kira shnoriv sunike yete mer karavalutsyan diner ha et amen inch patrastel amen inch tal hima ela patrastel patrast amen inch tal as lerev hamazayeva yev asuma et zer diasporayen asumen vor gitek inch duk sovorek mich hanznel amen inch ha bats hima aykela miat president vor patrasta pat karusel yev pahpanel sarmanlere inch ek uzum vor nek antrum hima so that's true that's true joe uh, i believe you know it's everything you you tell like it sounds so romantic you know uh, because our experience telling us you know be more not uh, pessimistic like but just be uh, kind of realistic i i want to help you all the way i can all the way i can because whatever I'm telling is my value So uh, th- what are we telling I'm struggling for it. Okay, I'm struggling to uh, for a peace but peace based on justice because I believe they cannot be long lasted peace without a justice. Yeah. So, just, so you cannot not anyone cannot like force me to accept injustice, you know, 
just because of peace, keeping peace, maybe I will tolerate it for short term. Well, but, but, but I will last someday, right? In the in the United States, we have signed in our founding documents that we have been given certain inalienable rights by our creator to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Yeah, right. And, and I have a friend of mine who passed away recently. His name was Hakop. He lived in the Netherlands. He was a businessman, great, wonderful man of God, strong faith. Uh, he passed away of a heart attack in uh, Yerevan. Oh. And uh, him and I were working together uh, to start a movement called Pro High. Because there's a lot of injustice concerning Armenia, but the greatest injustice is that Armenian offspring are aborted before they ever get to take a breath. 20% of Armenian babies and, and Armenian pregnancies are being ended in abortion, 20%. And so I'm going to tell you as a minister and as a man of God, I'm going to speak very loudly and clearly. Armenia needs a federal ban on abortion because if they don't have this, one, they're going to lose 1 million of their population by the end of this century. 1 million by the end of this century, less than 100 years away. They will lose 1 million of their population. They will be down to 2 million in population. They don't have enough population to sustain themselves as it is. It's going to be far worse. Also, when you abort your children, you incur the wrath of God. Because there's one thing that the Lord hates, seven things that he hates, the scripture says. And one of them is the shedding of innocent blood. Abortion is the worst form of murder. Absolutely, it is the worst form of murder. And... I'm sorry, but I don't want to hear about justice and what's right for Armenia and what we need to do until they deal with the abortion issue. Because that's the first thing that's not right with Armenia. It's the first thing Armenia needs to tackle. I think not only with Armenia. However, let me translate. Yes, Jose said the Arthurian Masin was a patrasem a mention of impressors. Nero Oknem, Vodavete Benchola, Sumengeshat, Romantica. Մենչում իրանից եւ ոչ այդքան ռեալիստական բայց ես պատրաստեմ այդ ամեն ինչը ամեն ինչին օգտակար լինել ինքն ասաց որ հայաստանին այսօր պետք է օրեն կամ պայմանացնել այս աբորտները կանխարգելու համար որովհետեւ հարյուսյան ընդհատումը աբորտը եւ ինք ամեն դեպքում հոգեվոր հոգեվոր տեսանկյունից են այում շատ հարցերի լուծման է այս առումով Absolutely agree Joel Pardon John I also want to say this loud and clear to everybody who is watching If you are a woman right now who is pregnant in Armenia and you are considering an abortion my plea to you is not to my wife, Sarah, and I have already discussed this and agreed that if there's a woman in Armenia who cannot afford to take care of her child and wishes to abort it, we will gladly adopt that child. We have five children of our own. The child would be raised in a loving and God-fearing family. And unfortunately, we are not your government, so we can't help the social problems of Armenia but we would gladly take any baby that you would otherwise be aborted. It would be our delight to raise them up and to see them do well. So please don't do that. Եվ իրա կողմից ինքն ասում ես, եթե Հայաստանում մայր կա հիմա մեզ լսում է, որը մտածում է հագրություն ընդհատելու մասին, որովհետև տնտեսական խնդիրներ ունի, մենք պատրաստենք իր կնոջետ որդեգրել երեխային չնայած հինգ երեխա ունեն իրենք։ Հա, բայց պատրաստ են այդ ծանրությունը վերցնել իրավարա եվ ինքը խնդրումը չանել դա։ Thank you, Joel. It was really impressive. Well, I just want to say, you know, Armenia has been a country uh, from the beginning when the apostles went to Armenia to preach the gospel, they were killed. St. Bartholomew was skinned alive. And many Christians were killed by Teradotis. And I'm, I'm, when I cry, it's not because I'm crying because I am weak. I feel the spirit of the Lord on me, the sword pokey. 
I feel the heart of God for the Armenian people. And it affects me. I feel his heart and his emotion. But the reality is, you have the genocide. You have all these massacres. You have all these Christian martyrs. And the land is soaked in Armenian blood. When is it going to be enough? Uh, and they know. have to abort their own babies. <laughs> Isn't the land drunk with your blood? Oh, Isn't my. it enough? When is it going to be enough? I think yes. Uh, let's translate. As much as was funny, soon that's ask. Եվ հիմա իրան սեփական երեխաներին են սպանում մի ամբողջ երկիր լծվածա այդ ալունով ասում է այս հիմա հուզում եմ ոչ նայամար որ ես թույլ մարդեմ ուղակես այդ բանը ոչ պատկերացնում եմ այ ինչքան մարդասում ավել հայկական հողի վերաց հիշեց բաներին քրիստոսի աշակերտներին քրիստոնեություն տարածելու ժամանակ հայաստանում սպանված եւ ընդհանրապես ցեղասպանությունից սկսածում է մի թե այսքան է բավական չի որ դուք դատարեք երեխա երեխա սպանելը ցեղասպանված ազգ ոնց կարող է ինքը մի խոսքով շարունակի նույն բանը որտեղ ես էր պատասխանը ջերք it was really impressive uh, just discover you because you know our program is called uh, self detection something is if you are, i will uh, literally translate is self detection when you're trying to understand yourself how you will call in english properly when you're just when trying, you're trying to understand your self awareness self awareness maybe self awareness this is what uh, is program is called so yeah it, i'm glad i kind of uh understand you i discovered you as a person not only a spiritual as a spiritual leader uh as a already potentially uh, politic uh, leader uh whatever you say it's really is touching it's very close to my heart and i believe it's close really to many armenians hearts i will do my best to be useful for everything you will you will start okay here i am and thank you very much uh, thank you very much for this post, uh, podcast do you have something to add yeah. yeah i will just say this the armenian people especially the armenian men you and i can talk all day long but where are the people that care so much about their country that they're willing to weep to the lord and say tevogormia 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 Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Do you care about your country at all I'm not even Armenian I'm an American citizen And yet I've done everything I can do for the last 4 years for you do you not care I'm speaking to the members of parliament I'm speaking to Nicole Pashinyan I'm speaking to all of the leaders do you not care How how much longer is that land going to drink up the blood of Armenian babies of armenian soldiers when is the killing going to stop and when i say to my christian evangelical brothers and sisters the pastors the bishops the priests in our country is there are armenians the first christian nations that are dying they're dying all the time being murdered being killed through war white phosphorus chemical weaponry bombs and 20% of pregnancies end in an abortion and i talk about the great things about armenia but also armenia has some shameful things and armenia needs to cry out to god in repentance and beg him for mercy because god sees what is taking place and you know what armenia right now the leaders are like cain who killed abel and then Cain hid from God and then God said to Cain where is thy brother the ground cried out to God when Abel's blood was spilt upon it and the ground told on Cain and armenian leaders are acting like Cain they're allowing soldiers to die on the front lines 
They're allowing abortion to happen every day. And I'm sorry. There are proudful Armenians who will say, how dare this non-Armenian speak this way about our country? This is true. So, But it's me. true. Yep. It's true. This is reality. And let me say, I'll say this quite candidly, quite clearly. When you are inside the circle, it's hard to see what's happening. But That's when me. you're removed from the circle, you can easily what, see what's taking place. May God bless you all. I hope you can translate that well. May God bless you all. And thank you. Uh, thank you, Gerald. Let me uh, translate the, the last very important part. Yes, I'm a caravan master. My name was like a set like a gun caravan. I am Pahoma Vopes, Ishpes, Association Chum Kayena, and was Sepakan Yehpoda Spanet. As for Dubon Skalorek, it's Hans Zimbor Spanet. Dubon Skalorek, Tultal was aborted a Sharnakman. Uh, he can only say that can Azat, Yevas can and Kerstin Eduhamas. Uh, the Himnakanum, uh, there is Sano Yezapa King, I saw out of Shat Emotional, uh, in Keda. Save Lava can Kersa Volsuna, a Shat Barsam Gunatum, Joeli, and Kers Hoska. He look another Boschi, uh, as can Massin Hosal, Yev Chuzvel. And Anga Manka Vodis Chemuzum, the Chinese Shanako is coming right in com. Yes, Chemuzum. Uh, thank you very much, Joel. I was just uh, speaking about the fact I am not sometimes not crying. It doesn't mean I'm not I didn't cry before and I will not cry after because <clears throat> this is the situation. If, if someone has a heart, it's very normal. It's very normal. Th thank you very much for your time. Joel, I think uh, we will meet in a podcast in a, some uh, sometime, maybe in February or March, or you see right. what kind of, uh, success you have. What's the, your vision? What kind of understanding? What's new in the world? But doesn't mean we cannot meet uh, before, before uh, and during this time. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. May God bless the Armenians. May God he protect him. Aswats, Bahi, Aswats, Orkni, my <laughs> Armenian friends. Take okay. care, and we will talk soon. Thank you very much, Joe. Uh, uh, Armenia sounds very natural. Short snorkel, you too. Short snorkel, you too. Bye. Bye.